<laughs> the talent here is incredible. Now is the time to seize the day. Open the gates. No, that's not. Yeah. I'm going to leave it the professional. <laughs> the Tony Award winning musical that Thank I am you. not part of, Newsies, is making its regional premiere right here in Georgia at the renowned Aurora Theater. And here to tell us all about it is artistic director Anthony Rodriguez and actors Greg Camp and Russell Alexander II. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank all you right. so much for having us. I'm thrilled that you're here and I can't wait for the performance. And Anthony, I know that um, just in case people don't know about Newsies, tell people a little bit about the show and its history with Sure. Disney. Well, a lot of people are going to be familiar with the 1992 uh, movie that starred Christian Bale, right? The story takes place in 1899, true story of a newsboy strike, right? Uh, kids that needed to, to make a living, working, uh, terrible conditions, trying to, trying to make their way. And they upped the price of the papers because the papers weren't mm -hmm. doing as well, as we can all sort of relate to right now. Right. The newspapers, because of the Internet, aren't doing as well. But these kids were not being treated right. And so they took it upon themselves, what they believed in, wanting to help one another. And they go out and they create this amazing revolution. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Oh, God, I'm go. getting so go. into it. All right, Greg Russell, I want to ask you about your characters in the play and what it means to be a part of Newsies, and then I'll just start with that. Yeah, well, uh, I, I get to play Jack Kelly, who's uh, the leader of the Newsboy Union, and um, he's, he's something, man. He's stubborn but um, wonderful, and um, it's so great to be able to tell this story. Um, given what's going on and to uh, give voice to a younger generation to mm -hmm. sort of have a place at the table. And right. I love that. Yeah. Russell, for you? Yes. I play Crutchy, um, and he's this guy's best pal. Um, yeah. He's a cripple in the show, so um, definitely hopping along, you know, <laughs> with three legs and <laughs> trying to get around. But um, Crutchy's full of heart, full of passion, mm -hmm. but he also has that feistiness and that bite to him to where, you know, I have this opportunity, as we like to call it, with his leg, but he's not letting that hold him back from anything. Mm -hmm. You know, he's right at the forefront of the strike with the rest of the guys and, you know, just trying to push along the best that he can. Right. And, um, it's just so incredible to be a part of a show that has this great of a message. I tear up a lot <laughs> right. during the show, you know, with just some of the profound things that are being said and some of the statements that are being made and how they portray in today's world right. and what's going on. So, right. Um, I think Crutch is really the, the catalyst for, for both conflict and change yeah. for Jack. Right. I love that. I think good writing and good storytelling never really goes out of style because it's always applicable to something that you're probably mm -hmm. going through. So it's cool that you get to portray that Truly. night in and night out starting mm -hmm. tomorrow. Um, Anthony, I want to ask you sure. about it's an exciting time for Aurora. Let's talk about the expansion and what it means for the city. Yeah, I mean, Newsies yeah. will kick off our 23rd season, which, first of all, I can't believe we are still <laughs> moving and growing after 23 years. But we have an incredible partnership with the city of Lawrenceville. And as we've grown and 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 needed more space to do the things that we do and also more space for our community partnerships, we have been working with the city of Lawrenceville to create this incredible campus expansion, which will include a 500-seat theater uh, with an orchestra pit, fly loft, whole nine yards, state-of-the-art, also 150-seat cabaret space, classroom spaces, rehearsal spaces, and we will, we will manage that entire complex. So it will then have four theaters instead of the two we currently have, and we'll be able to work with community partners and... Um, and a lot of other people to just bring artists in and yes. do a lot of the work that we've dreamt of but haven't had the opportunity right. to do. Right, I love that. You can tell you have very good actors coming in and making everything alive and the people that run it are just as important. So talk about the schedule for the rest of the season for Aurora. So. Look, I, I don't want to go into every single show. We've got a great lineup. We've got three incredible musicals, including a world premiere, a premiere of Men With Money that will happen later in the season. Our, our standby Christmas canteen will be in its 23rd year. We've got some great things coming up. I, knew, I know you guys have the entire schedule on a slide. So look at that. It's absolutely the best value to get a season ticket. It's also the best way to help our organi organization stay stable and strong is to be a member. Yes. So we'd love to have as many as many people as we can. Currently, we have a little over 5,000 season ticket holders, wow. and they're incredibly committed to the work that we do. Amazing. And good, good work you all do. Thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. Disney's Newsy starts tomorrow and runs through September 2nd at Aurora Theater. 
And now, performing in our spotlight, Santa Fe, the incomparable Greg Camp. Take it away. Folks, we finally got a headline. Luzi's crushed as bulls attack. Crutchy's calling me dumb crips just too damn slow. Guys are fighting, bleeding, falling. Thanks to good old Captain Jack. Captain Jack just wants to close his eyes and go. Let me go far away. Somewhere they will never find me. And tomorrow don't remind me of the day. When the city's finally sleeping. And the moon looks old and gray. I get on a train that's bound for Santa Fe. And I'm gone, and I'm done. No more running, no more lying. No more fat old men denying me my pay. Just the moon so big and yellow, it turns night right into day. Dreams come true, yeah, they do, in Santa Fe. Where does it say you gotta live and die here? Where does it say a guy can't catch a break? Why should you only take what you're given? Why should you spend your whole life living trapped where there ain't no future, even at 17? Breaking your back for someone else's sake. Life don't seem to suit ya. How about a change of scene? Far from the lousy headlines and the deadlines in between. Santa Fe, my old friend. I can't spend my whole life dreaming, though I know that's all I seem inclined to do. I ain't getting any younger and I want to start brand new I need space and fresh air let them laugh in my face I don't care save my place I'll be there Just be real is all I'm asking, not some painting in my head. Cause I'm dead if I can't count on you today. I've got nothing if I ain't got Santa Fe. Greg, incredible. And Carol, brilliant as always. Thank you so much. So much talent. I'm floored by all the talent. Come on in here. You guys, as we said, Disney's Newsy starts tomorrow and runs through September 2nd at Aurora Theater. For more info, visit auroratheater.com. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank I can't you. wait to see you. All right.